Hi, I'm Wendy from shinyhappyworld.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together this hedgehog applique pattern. So this is one of the blocks in the Woodland Critters quilt pattern. That is a larger quilt pattern that has a whole bunch of forest animals in it, but it's also available just on its own. So you can also get just the hedgehog pattern if you want. Here's how to put it together. All right, let's put this hedgehog together. Uh, this is the video that's showing how to do this without using a light box. So all of these dotted lines that you see on the paper side of the pattern need to be transferred to the fabric side of the pattern. So um, just hold it up to a window and you'll be able to see those lines very clearly through the fabric and you can transfer them. I use a chalk line wherever I can. That's always my first choice. Uh, if the fabric, you can see that here, if the fabric is too light for a chalk line to show up, I'll use a regular pencil. And anywhere that I am um, going to be covering it with black, solid black applique fabric, that's eyes and noses, I will use a fine tip Sharpie. I'll also use this for any place that I'm just going to be stitching. So for example, the line for his mouth, or if I were going to do the eyelashes, which I'm not on this version, but if I was, I would be transferring those also in the black Sharpie. Since I'm going to be stitching over it in plain black thread, it doesn't matter that it's permanent, you'll never see that line again. All right, so we are gonna put this together, what I call snapshot style. That means that it is gonna be going right off the bottom edge of the block. So you wanna line these flat edges up with the raw edge at the bottom of your block. And this makes him look like he's just popped into the photo. Um, he still has a body, it's just not showing in the photo. If you float it, it'll look like he's been cut off, uh, which is a little bit weird looking. So we're gonna line those edges up. And now we're going to take the next piece, his body. This one is a very, very simple, one of the simplest blocks in the pattern. It's a little tedious to outline, uh, the, do the stitching around those, those prickles, but um, it's not terrible. They're tall straight lines. All right, so you just lay the body down over, in, over that opening. Now we're gonna put his muzzle right where I've marked it. Tiny little face. And now we are gonna put his eyes and his nose in place. His eyes and his nose all look like they're the same oval. They are not exactly the same. Uh, at least I don't think they are. Um, the eyes are identical to each other, but the nose I think is a tiny bit bigger. So you want to, you can use the numbers on the back of the pieces and the placement guide uh, to show you which number, which piece is what. So the nose is number six here. And we're just gonna turn that sideways there. Very cute little nose. All right, that's it. I'm gonna bring him over to the ironing board. I'm gonna fuse everything in place. Just follow the directions on whatever brand of fusible adhesive you're using. I use Heat and Bond Light. And then I'm gonna take him to the sewing machine and I'm gonna do all that outline stitching and I'll bring him back here and I will show you the finished block and I'll also show you another version that I made in different colors. Okay, here is the finished hedgehog. I've done all of the outline stitching. I've added catch lights to his eyes, just a little dot of white fabric paint. And uh, I also did two other color versions of this guy. So first I wanted to show you this one. This is the one that you see on the cover of the Woodland Critters quilt pattern. So for that sample, I used all different shades of green, tone on tone green prints for the background. They're all from the Avocado Blenders collection. And all of the animals done are done in realistic animal colors from the Animal Kingdom color palette. But I made a second sample quilt as well that you don't see on the cover, but it is inside the quilt. And that is this one. So like the first one, it has natural colors for the animal, so also from the Animal Kingdom color palette, but the background blocks are all bright colored solids with just these quilting lines printed on them so that you can just follow along the lines. So it's kind of like having a coloring book for your quilting lines. One other difference you'll notice is that this version has the eyelashes stitched. So almost all of the animals in the Woodland Critters quilt pattern are available, they, they have eyelashes in there. You can stitch them if you like them, or you can leave them off if you don't want eyelashes. But I did one more version of this guy too for a different quilt that I'm working on. So for this quilt that I'm working on, 
all of the background colors are solids from the Animal Kingdoms collection. So they are all shades of brown and gray with a little bit of rust and kind of mustardy colors in there. And all of the animals are the bright colored farmer's market blenders. Um, and each animal is just one color. Each animal is monochrome. So this is the, the pink hedgehog from the Strawberry Blenders collection. And I decided a pink hedgehog really needed those eyelashes as well. So I'm Wendy from shinyhappyworld.com and this is the hedgehog pattern.